I am Dr. Rishad Pal, Assistant Professor of Jamsipur Omna School in the Geology Department. Today I am describing about a prep cycle which is in our SEM 4 syllabus under metabolism of carbohydrate. We know that glucose through the process of oxidation, cellular respiration, produce energy with the liberation of CO2 and H2, but it takes place in two steps. One is pyruvic, uh, um, conversion of glucose into pyruvic acid, that is called glycolysis, and another step is uh, Krebs cycle which takes place inside the mitochondria. So, I am describing on Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle which takes place inside mitochondria and uh, with the help of some respiratory engine present in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. The initial product is pyruvic acid which we have got already in glycolysis. This pyruvic acid, pyruvic acid first of all convert into a steel coenzyme before entry into the mitochondria. Pyruvic acid convert into acetyl coenzyme. Now steel coenzyme in mitochondrial membrane with oxaloacetic acid OAA which is 4 carbon containing compound converts into citric acid which is 6 carbon compound and that is happening inside mitochondria. So here you see that the first product is the citric acid. So this cycle is known as citric acid cycle or there are three carboxylic groups in its molecular formula that's why it is also known as tricarboxylic acid cycle and as it was started by Henry Krebs that's why it also known as Krebs cycle. Now citric acid converts into isocitric acid isocitric acid that is also 6 carbon content compound Isocytic acid converts into oxalosuccinic acid, which is six carbon content compound. Now, oxalosuccinic acid converts into alpha ketoglutaric acid by the liberation of CO2 and it becomes 5 carbon containing compound. Now, this alpha ketoglutaric acid converts into succinyl coenzyme. Succinyl coenzyme by liberation of 1 mole CO2 and uh, it is become 4 carbon containing compound with the addition of coenzyme. Succinyl coenzyme again converts into succinic acid. Succinic acid which later converted into fumaric acid. Fumeric acid, 4 carbon containing compound. Now, fumeric acid, they can convert into malic acid. Malic acid, which ultimately converts into oxaloacetic acid. In this way, the Krebs cycle takes place. During this process, what happened? 
Now when pyruvic is converted into a state benzene, at that time it liberates CO2 and NAD converts into NADH2. Again, isocyclic acid when converts into oxalosuccinic acid at that time NAD also converts into NADH2, reduced into NADH2. Similarly, during the process of alpha ketoglucosuccinic acid, they are also NAD converts into NADH2. During the conversion of succinic coenzyme to succinic acid, GDP converts into GDP, one in type of speed. And uh, whenever succinic acid converts into fumaric acid, at that time FAD reduced into FADH2. And malic acid, whenever converted into oxaloacetic acid, then NAD reduced into NADHP. So, if we take the ATP pool and we know that NADH2 is equivalent to 3 ATP, so we are getting 3 ATP here. Here also we are getting 3 ATP. Here we are getting 3 ATP. GTP also produce 1. FAD produce 2. And NAD is to produce 3. That means total 15 ATP. 15 ATP we are getting. You see uh, 3, 3, 3, 9. 10, 12, 13, 15 ATP we are getting here. And um, uh, you see here that uh, uh, this 15 ATP we are getting from one more pyruvic acid. But actually in glycolysis we have got two more pyruvic acid. So one more by two more pyruvic acid will produce 2 into 15 is equal to 30 ATP. So one molecule of glucose undergoes glycolysis and in <coughs> glycolysis we got 8 ATP. Now in Krebs cycle we are getting 30 ATP. So one mole of glucose after complete oxidation will produce total 38 ATP molecule. This is the main um, motto of the metabolic process of glucose, carbohydrate metabolism where we get energy from one molecule of glucose and this glucose molecule produce energy through glycolysis and Krebs cycle and this cycle takes place inside mitochondria and it was studied by Krebs that's why it is also known as Krebs cycle and this is the only cycle which produce maximum amount of energy through the oxidation of glucose molecule okay thank you